the Israeli occupation continues to commit genocide in Gaza Strip. The crisis in Gaza has reached another breaking point, and the delivery of humanitarian aid inside Gaza has become almost impossible. This report has more details. Israeli tanks advanced to the edge of Mawasi camp for the displaced Palestinians, northwest of the southern Gaza city of Rafah. Sources on the ground said the advancement of the occupation tanks coincided with fierce clashes with the resistance. The occupation forces are overlooking the Mawasi area, which forced families there to head to Khan Yunus further north, amid shelling and raids that concentrated on the western side of Rafah. The Israeli shelling targeted the safe zones that once announced by the Israeli occupation forces for people, and eyewitnesses said Israeli drones are targeting anyone who dares to move in these areas, even to recover dead bodies of Palestinian civilians who are killed by the Israeli shelling. As the shelling continues, large numbers of injured Palestinians turn to the only operating hospital of Khan Yunus. All hospitals in Rafah are out of service due to the Israeli incursion. Nine months into Israel's war in Hamas administered Palestinian enclave, its advance is focused on the two areas its forces have yet to seize. Rafah on Gaza's southern tip and the area surrounding Tir al-Balah in the center. Residents said Israeli tanks had pushed deeper into western and northern Rafah in recent days, blowing up dozens of houses. The Israeli military said it was continuing intelligence-based targeted operations in Rafah area and had located weapons of swords and tunnel shafts and killed Palestinian gunmen. The armed wings of Hamas and the Islamic Jihad movement said their fighters had attacked Israeli forces in Rafah with anti-tank rockets and mortar bombs and pre-planned explosive devices. Elsewhere, Israeli air strikes and shelling focused on the north of Nusayrat camp in central Gaza. In Beit Lahia, in the northern Gaza Strip, health officials at Kamal Adwan Hospital said a baby had died of malnutrition. Taking the number of children who died of malnutrition or dehydration since October 7 to at least 40.